Hello learners, welcome to our next virtual learning for the day. I believe you are doing well. Today we have integrated science for basic six. And our strand is diversity of matter. And our substrand is metals and non-metals. Before then, let us look at our learning objectives for the day. And one says, by the end of the lesson, we should be able to name some metals and non-metals. And also group materials into metals and non-metals. Now let us look at these keywords of the day. We have metals, non-metals, insulators, and conductors. Now, our today's lesson is based on metals and non-metals. Now, if you look around in your living room, you will find tables, chairs, carpets, and curtains. Just look around your living room, you will see those things. Now, similarly, if you go to the kitchen, what you see in the kitchen, friends, or utensils, one can be knife, pressure cooker, you also see what we call chopping board, you also see what we call ladder and kettle as well. Now we want to know what a metal is, so we want to quickly look at the definition of metal. Now we say metals, metals, they are materials that conduct, the word conduct heat and electricity. They are materials that conduct heat and electricity. Now, all these materials that I have mentioned previously falls under metal and non-metals. So, we are going to do some few exercises here, which will help us to understand the whole concept. So, we said metals are materials that conduct heat and electricity. So, for example, looking at this, now what this material or this tool here has a name. You will say hammer. This is what a hammer. Now this hammer is a metal. Is what a metal, which is made up of what iron or copper. Some are made up of what iron or copper. Now aside this, I have one here what a handle. So looking at the handle here. The handle is being covered by what? A plastic rubber. Now, the handle here has a purpose. For example, if I put this hammer into a fire, what will happen is that the metal will burn and automatically change a color which can be what? A yellowish or brown. Now, the side which I am holding will not bend my fingers. Why? Because this handle here prevents the heat from what bending my fingers. So this is what we call an insulator. A plastic rubber is what we call an insulator. This prevents the heat from reaching what where my hand is. So this is what we call what an insulator. Now we want to look at examples of metals. Examples of metals. And we say what copper. Copper is an example of metal. And we also have what silver. So we look at this bowl here. Silver bowl. So this is what an example of what? A metal. This one is a metal, which is what? A silver bowl. Now we look at what you call gold. Most of you see gold before I believe so. Some are necklace, are used for necklace and then rings, watch, right? We also have what you call zinc. 
is also a metal and we have aluminium which is also a metal now looking at this this is our what copper which is drawn in what an insulator i told you this material which co which the one that covers the metal or the copper prevent it from what shocking us when we what use it for electricity so the insulator prevents the uh, metal here from shocking us when it's being connected to the electricity all right so we want to look at non-metals aside metals we also have non-metals we have materials that are bad conductors of heat they do not conduct heat or electricity so we also have what non-metals for example we said no metal are bad conductors of heat and electricity they are bad conductors of heat and electricity so for example you're looking at this here this is salt right now this one it has a wood the handle is what wood if i put this in a fire this one will burn and change color but the wood will not burn why or the heat will not what get to the wood simply because a wood is a bad conductor of heat so we want to look at examples of what non-metals and we say wood is what non-metal wood is not a metal and we look at what plastic the plastic here oh sorry uh plastic we have the car we have the bowl yes they are non-metal and we will have that rubber yes rubber we use rubber at home it's also non-metal we have glass which we use for drinking water or soft mineral drinks are also examples of what non-metal we have paper which we normally use to write on in the classroom or at home is also non-metal and finally we have polythene we have polythene which is what non-metals all right today we want to do some few exercises here and then we want to uh we have both metals and non-metals here which we mix together we want to categorize them under metals and non-metals now let us read the heading it's a group the following the ff means the following materials into metals and non-metals group the following materials into metals and non-metals so we want to group this these materials that i have written here under metals and non-metals so first of all book is book a metal no so it's under what non-metal now so we move on to what knife is knife under metal or non-metal uh, non is under metal so nine so i come here i write it under metal the next one is frying pan frying pan is a metal right so i consider this under metal frying pan under metal now the next one is what our study table in school or at home is not a metal is under what non-metal so i write it sorry steady table is under non-metal and the next one is what ladder this one is what we use in our kitchens so it's under metal it's not it's not what right so we have this which is under under what metal this one is under metal and the next one is kettle which is also under what metal which is under metal and the next one is what pressure cooker is not under non-metal is under what metal is under metal so the next one is cutlass cutlass is under what metals so we write it cutlass 
is on the metal, which is base. And the next one is silver spoon, is also on the metal. Silver is a metal. So this one indicates that it's a metal. And then the next one is what? Ceramic cups. Ceramic cups, which is usually made from what? Clay. So uh, is under what? Non metal. Is under non metals. Is under non metals. And the last one is silver plates, which is under what? Metals. Silver plate is under what? Metal. And so in that space, right? So let me write it here. Silver plates is under non metal. So we have metals and then non metals, right? So this is how we have to categorize the whole things under metals and non metals. I believe you understand today's lesson. Hope to see you next time. Bye bye.